Okay, this is uh, one of the 10 inch vacuum jackets that's being lowered down into the ground. You'll see the, uh, the hoses. Devin's uh, hanging on to him and then he'll winch the actual purging device will come up through the ground and be winched back up through there. We've got um, three eights a crowd of water in a crowd cable which holds the uh, purge cord in place. Okay, here we go now. We start winching off the uh, purge device. Here's all the hoses coming up. This is uh, clear. This is what you actually wanted to see with the uh, first device. There it is. Being drifted in by the wall. Hoses and right now Scott is actually using acetone where we actually machine the end of the pipe to put a J bevel on there. So what he's doing is actually using acetone to wipe off any leftover residue from uh, the cotton fluid that we use to actually do the J bevel. Now as you can see the hoses and the lifting cables for the purge board Drew's going to hook those up now, and if he moves his big ass out of the way so I can see. <laughs> cable down, little! So he'll bring the cable down from the wind. Yep. And he's going to hook that up to the actual purge. This is a um, this is an 8 inch roll. So he's looking at the 8 inch purge port right now. As you can see how big it is and how long it is. He's going to hook up the cables, which obviously go up to the winch that's up on the uh, mezzanine about 40 feet above us and then what he'll do is then he'll put the uh, the cables to his left hand side of his hand there he's going to actually put those onto the pull your house a little itself. so they have quick disconnects that go in there yeah so Drew explain which one's which so these are labeled sit Seal inflation. That's what inflates the bladders. Then the fill port, which is where we purge it through. And then the vent port, which is where we let the purge out of. Okay, so then after they do that, then they also, when, when they pressurize it, they also uh, deflate it after that and then put helium in there to do a helium leak check. So it's actually turned out to be a pretty nice device and it's really speeding up the operation of getting these vacuum jackets down into the ground. So right now they're going to start bringing it back up. Table up! As you see where it goes up into the pipe. They'll pull that up so far. Hold that! Pull your hike, your hose is caught! Table down! Alright, pull your hose tight. Alright, you got it. Table up. So then it goes up inside the pipe. Yep. Now how Drew, how do you know how long explain how you know how we, far to bring that down? We have the center of it marked with a wraparound mark. So we put that center mark within an inch or two of the well. You'll be able to see it here in just a second. So basically when now what they're going to do is now they're going to get the fit off of the pipe where it'll come over and drop down and then, they'll, then what they'll do is they'll drop the perch port will go down into the pipe that's already in the ground and they'll also stay in the piece of pipe that they're actually starting to weld to eventually extend down into the ground as well. Hold that a second. Doing 
now is they're putting on the actual ring for the welding machine. This is a track which um, holds the orbital welding machine. Okay. Oh, they're going back up just a little bit. All right, cable down. So now we'll see the actual device coming down through. There it is. Oh! There we go. Alright. Okay. Down, down. Okay, so you're going down yep. the pipe stop. Bounce it up just the, a tad. You see the actual... Up just a hair. The yep. purging device right there that tells you that they're halfway right, down between the two pipes. So, there you have it.